presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to Mike in Southern California. Hey, Mike, what's going on? Hey, Tom, nice to talk to you again. And I have to start out and first tell you, I love this trading room. This thing is great. This app, it works great. And uh, getting all the information, it, you're like instantly there. No delay, nothing. That's I know. Great. I Listen, Thank I you appreciate again. your growling problem with us. Your channel is in my pocket all day long. It's wonderful. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, man. You Thank you. Now, Tom O'Brien. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We have five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's making a great week, folks. Always do your best, but don't overdo. This is a great card. When you overdo you to deplete your body and you go against yourself and it'll take longer to accomplish your goals. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 898. NASDAQ's up 298. S&P's up 107. Gold. Gold contract up $34.50 trading at a price point of 1706. You got silver up $1.65 at $20.69. Late sweet crude up $391. $83.38 a barrel. Notes and bonds. A 10-year note. Up a full point plus one tick at 113.03. The 30 year also up a full point plus 24 ticks at 128.05. And the 10 year right now, folks, is. <laughs> I was just going to. just going to. I had the wrong screen up. I'm saying it's not that low. 3.662. And King Dollar. King Dollar right now is uh, down to 321 ticks, trading at 111.799. The euro is at 98. The yen is trading at uh, price point of 144. And the British pound is at 113 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world. But right now, we're going to go over the world to our man, Mr. Dave Mazza. Dave is the head of product and the managing director at Direction. Dave Mazza, how you doing? Doing well. Glad, glad to be back. Yes, and you know, Dave, uh, was <laughs> I? We were scrambling down here in, in Florida, and we're cool. Thank, I mean, they've hit 135 miles to us, and um, I missed you. I, you were going to be, you were on Bloomberg, right, with uh, that all the ETFs. Did you have, did, you know? First off, tell them a little bit about that. But it's amazing that they got a whole program now just with ETFs, right? Yeah, I think uh, some folks uh, were, were not as early adopters as you and your uh, and your and your team has been in, in, in ETFs. And yeah, now Bloomberg actually has their own show dedicated once a week dedicated to ETFs. And you know, topics were range from everything from things that we talk about the basics and yes. adoption of ETFs to uh, what we were talking about our leverage and inverse ETFs, and particularly a uh, fund that folks know well, SoxL. Right. Uh, and just some of the interesting behavior that we've seen there, where. You know, that that fund continues to, to see people buying the dip, even as that space has been hammered. That is interesting, man. That's pretty cool. See, that's and, and folks. So as you come over to TFN, you're listening to TFN right now. Well, you can hit that direction banner. You can come right over. And the bottom line is that you'll get right into the direction site. And you got to remember something that every day, as, as Dave was just talking about this. OK, uh, the bottom line is that they give you the biggest daily movers and shakers in the market. So it's really cool. So Dave, what I'd like to do today, when we got a rally going, um, and you know, we'll see how this shakes out uh, inside of the bond market. Uh, but you know, the bottom line is that, you know, whether you're a bull or a bear folks, okay, uh, we have two, uh, we have the TMF and the TMV, um, you know, that Basically, you can be a bull or a bear in this market. Um, so I, I think that, you know, that actually, there's, there's so many places that you can go today, right? <laughs> you know? Yeah, yeah. I think you're, you're right. So a lot of folks just think about trading uh, in stocks, right? And so if you have an interest in trading, particularly leverage university chefs, we know they're daily trading tools. So you have to make that buy, sell, or hold decision right. on a daily basis. TMF uh, and TMV, to your point, 
are actually in the fixed income market. And what they do is they provide exposure to, uh, to really the long bond index, so 20 plus, um, 20 plus treasury. So yes. That's where the volatility has been this year. So treasury volatility has been a bit off, you know, off the charts. Only recently has equities and credit kind of caught up, even though they've struggled this year, uh, because all the moves have been really in the, the – uh, particularly start the year, the fact that people were not expecting the Fed to be as aggressive as they has been. Yes. Uh, and of course, there's now people saying, well, maybe the, the Fed should pump the brakes. But the more hawkish governors last week came out and said, you know what, we got to fight this inflation back. And all that's done is put kind of further, um, uh, further pressure on uh, on bonds. And that's seen the yields go up. So we're really seeing a ton of activity in both the bull and the bear fund here as people really fight it out. Now, the bear fund's gotten a bit larger, as you'd expect, because the performance has been um, so strong. But it's not as if we're not seeing activity on the bull side, because um, I, I do think we're at an interesting juncture. Where now we're starting to see some cracks in the economic data. Today's PMI is still above that 50 line, but weaker than expectations. Big employment number coming out this week. And uh, we're in a weird place where the stronger employment is, it's more cover for the Federal Reserve to continue to raise rates. You know, I think at some point, because they're so behind the, behind the curve, uh, there may be some issues here. Look what's going on in the UK and their pension system right. uh, and the impact in the gilt market. But as you were saying in the, the intro to this, the dollar continues to actually be not just a safe haven, but an area where non-US investors look for outperformance. And that's actually going to be further support for, I think, the Fed to keep doing what they're doing. Yeah, no, I can see that. I there's there's, it's you know, it, listen, it's great getting a bounce so people can you know, well, it turns into a great trading market. That's 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 the reality. So what I'd like to do, can we change gears just for a second? I want to go over these these singles, uh, the new singles that you have, right? And when I was looking at, at them, you know, when we're talking uh, Microsoft, we're talking um, you know Amazon, um, and the so there you get a one to one, then you get a one to point five zero. And the so the aspect is that it, it, is the reason you only have a one to one five zero on one side of, of how that you handle these trades all the time. How does that work? Yeah. So uh, we have uh, 10 ETFs, a bull and a bear yeah. um, on uh, on Apple, Alphabet, Microsoft, Amazon and Tesla. And, the, and in this particular case, because individual stocks are more volatile than an index of stocks, right. all else being equal. Um, we felt it was appropriate to have a, a lower leverage point. So here nice. we did 1.5 times, still really attractive for traders oh, yeah. uh, on the bull side. Right. And then just that inverse on the bear side, because we know that a lot of folks, um, for good reason, have been long these names, um, especially Apple and Tesla. Those sure. longs have worked out uh, really up until recently. Those, those two names had held on uh, relative to the broader market for much of this year. Obviously, we're starting to see cracks in that, concerns about uh, uh, interest in the new iPhone 14 production there, and then Tesla's numbers that came out last night or this morning about vehicle deliveries being, uh, being less than expected. So we launched TSLL uh, and TSLS, for example, for traders to take advantage of the moves that we're seeing out of Tesla. And folks, what's so cool, so come over to the website, Get over to the direction, because what's so cool about this, like a day like today, if you want 1.5 exposure on the way up, you have it. And if you own those stocks, as Dave's saying, you can just go for the bear side and stay delta neutral. Dave, thanks so much. Great, thanks for the education. Look forward to speaking in two weeks. Thanks for having me. Thank you. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. Inflation, the purchasing power is eroded. There's no better place to protect your hard-earned money than in gold. Vista Gold's flagship asset is the Mount Todd Gold Project in the Northern Territory of Australia. This is Australia's largest undeveloped gold project. We are talking a world-class gold project in a tier one mining district. This is a large scale, low cost project with significant existing infrastructure in a politically safe and friendly mining jurisdiction. Vista Gold just completed the Mount Todd feasibility study, which resulted in a 7 million ounce gold reserve in a 16-year mine life. All of this combined with the approvals of all major operational as well as environmental permits. This distinguishes Mount Todd as an attractive, de-risk partner, ready development stage gold project. Vista Gold trades on the New York Stock Exchange under the symbol VGZ.
Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years of experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now up 835. You get the NASDAQ up 271. S&Ps are up 98. Let's get over to our man, Mr. Steve Rhodes, as we do each and every Monday at 20 past the hour. And don't forget, folks, Steve has an outstanding show here every trading day, 11, 11 to 12 Eastern Standard Time. Also, a great newsletter, Mastering Probability. Now, it's very easy to get uh, his newsletter. Come over to our website at TFNN. You go into newsletters, you'll see Master and Probability right on the right-hand side. You just hit that Master and Probability, you hit subscribe. You can get Master and Probability for one month for $149. You can get it for six months for $695, which is a savings of $199, or 22%. And you can get it for one year for $1,195, which is a savings of $593, and 20, or 33%. Now, folks, bottom line, we have a trader's market here, man. I mean, big time. So come over, check it out. You can basically get it for 29 days free. It's a 30-day money-back guarantee, and you'll be happy if you did. Steve Rhodes, what's going on? Well, we're so glad that you, uh, you folks in Tampa beat oh. uh, one storm, Hurricane Ian. Pretty but heavy. Then lost, but then lost to the storm that blew in by Kansas City. I know. <laughs> Yeah, two and two. What are we and gonna do? Th those games yesterday were unbelievable, man. And I, I love the homes anyway, so it's terrible because I like Brady too. So it's like, yeah, I, know, I, know. I mean, yeah, 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 that, that yeah. kid's something else, man. Well, they're both it, something else, but uh, it, he is. Well, you yeah. know, when he gets out, I think you know, I think he's best when he's out of the pocket. Yeah. You know, it How just, about that, uh, Duncan? Whoop! Oh, yeah. Let me throw that over here for that time. I mean, yeah, seriously. Underhand shovel. I mean, every, right? It's, amazing. Yeah, Absolutely amazing. Cool. So the question everybody's got today, including myself, is did the stock market just make a bottom? So I thought what we could do is kind of focus in on the Dow okay. and just take a look at the chart patterns out there and, and see what they say. So let's start with the Dow's 125-year midterm election cycle pattern. Okay. And if we take a look at that pattern, that's what we have up on the screen right now, the red vertical line that represents where we're at today. And I'd have to say in taking a look at this chart, the answer to the question would be yes. And this would also suggest, not that we won't see ups and downs, pullbacks, but this would suggest that the market, the Dow itself, could run higher right into Election Day, November the 8th out there. So that's coming from the seasonal cycle chart. However, if we take a look at last Friday's price action, that was a second consecutive weekly close below its uh, June swing point out there. Okay. And that really triggers an A to B equals CD to the downside, with the first price projection level being about 268.69, 248. Now, what folks can also take a look at as price was moving below the B point on a, and this is a weekly chart yes. that we're looking at, as price was moving below the, week, the weekly swing point, it was with lighter volume. 
So always makes that A to B equals CD to the downside a little bit suspect. Now for the Dow Cash Index, that same pattern, it's weekly A to B equals CD to the downside would look like this. And this here, the A to B equals CD, we could see the one to one would take us to 26,982. But if we look at the retracement, from the uh, 2020 lows to the highs out here in 2022, what we'll see is the 0.68 retracement is a 1 to 1.272 A to B equals CD pattern. And that would suggest that would then potentially form a Gartley buy pattern. So we've got mixed signals out here. If we take a look at the shorter term, this is the Dow. This is suggesting that the Dow may have bottomed as price found support at a descending price channel. Now, what I've done here, Tom, is I've taken the the uh, the, the tools that Bud Rolfs taught to us. I'm taking a look at the opening closes of candles to create that channel line. So the top of that channel line is very, very solid. I believe the bottom of the channel line is also solid. We can see that price got down there. And this is suggesting that we could see price move up to either the midpoint of this descending price channel or make its way all the way up to the uh, top of that. And that's signals that uh, we should see a further rally. Now, we can also take the Dow's horse. So those were diagonal uh, price channels out there. We yes. can also look at uh, uh, horizontal price channels, and that's what these green lines show. So at the same time, the price was hitting the bottom of that descending price channel. What we can also see is price was finding support in the area of 28,909. That was the next horizontal trading range boundary line. So this suggests or supports the idea that we could see a short-term bottom with a further counter trend move. And if price, however, if price takes out the lows of last Friday out here, what the real signal would be telling us is that price is busting through this descending price channel out here and would likely, this is a much bigger picture, yes. this takes us back to 2009, the yellow lines are the rising price channels that we have been in here, and so a bust of the lows from last Friday would suggest that price moves down to about the 26,500 area, and that's where we've got this next rising yellow uh, uh, diagonal line to the upside. From a daily standpoint, if we take a look at the Dow Equity Future contract, and I took a snapshot of this probably about 10, 15 minutes ago, we're definitely going to get a bullish engulfing candle. Now, this is a daily A to B equals CD pattern. And where price got to earlier uh, this week or, or uh, today, this morning, was the 1 to 1.272 level. So got below the uh, lows from uh, last week. Uh, we now have a bullish engulfing candle. We also have, we take a look at the expansion of swing points here from the June lows to the highs that we saw out here in the uh, August time frame. We've got a 1.272 expansion that took us to the 28.594 level. So this gives us a Gartley buy pattern. And this would suggest that price, this is the uh, Dow, Dow Equity Future contract, folks. This would suggest that price may want to move to either 3545 or 31256. Those happen to be the center and top of their bearish structured daily profile. So this is going to be a sell zone, 3545 to 31256. And if that run is going to unfold, well, then what we needed to see today, and I don't know where we're at right now. Again, this was a snapshot from about 15 minutes ago. We need to see price close above this red-green line. That's referred to, Tom, as the oscillator and change line. We've only seen, since the uh, move lower uh, back around the uh, 22nd, we've only seen two bars that have actually closed above this line. So today could be bar number one. Today could be bar number two if we get beyond that. Then that's supporting that run to this 31,256 level that uh, I had referred to uh, just before. So in overnight trading, so we've taken a look at a number of different time frames. So weekly charts say, hey, you busted through those June lows. It was on light volume, but be prepared for a potential A to B equals CD to the downside. We did hit some support, some uh, descending trend line channel support out there. The daily time frame is giving us a Gartley butterfly pattern out here. Now we switch down or I switch down into shorter term time frames and the two hour time frame chart and, and the real key as to whether or not we've made any kind of bottom of significance here with a rally that could take us up into election day is going to be how this first retracement takes place. Do we get a do no, do we start to form higher bottoms and higher highs out there. Well, the two hour chart is one that I'll be paying attention to tonight. And the reason that is, Tom, is because it's going to complete what I refer to as a TD9 count top uh, by day's end. Okay. So as the equity future contract comes to close, typically when we get TD9 counts, we will see a retracement. And the question is, do we see a retracement back to support the top of the profile on a two hour time frame? That's at 29,432. Or do we get a pullback all the way to the oscillator and change line, which is likely out here? Now, 
These patterns, they help us to identify when potential tops or bottoms form. They don't always work, meaning that we could see a top, it just was a sideways move, and then price continues to move higher. And if price takes out overnight 29,784, that adds to the idea that we should see a further counter trend move out there. So it's going to be the two hour time frame chart to be watching overnight for those folks that uh, uh, watch the uh, future contracts out there. And folks, uh, bottom line, it's a trader's market. So uh, if you'd like to trade, come over to our website at TFNN, hit the newsletter, go on the right hand side, you see maximum probability right there. Steve does a great job, lines everything up every morning. I mean, you, and, get, you gotta love volatility, man. <laughs> you do, you do. And I'll just last, uh, lastly, I posted up this uh, little chart here. This is a market analyzer tool. It evaluates what the market conditions are for all these different time frames. And you can see on the daily, this is for the mining sector, it's showing the bear market is over inside the mining sector. Oh, I like that. Yes, you do. <laughs> I give you a big kiss. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Have a Tom. great one, a safe one. Look forward to the show tomorrow, Steve. Thanks, Tom. Thank you. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my Gold Report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. The Dow. Dow Industrial is up 873. Nasdaq's up 289. S&P's up 104. And let's, uh, we, we were just talking about those uh, mining stocks, so we got a couple targets that want to look at a few of them. We'll start with PAAS. Now, this is a silver stock, and silver took off. Well, here, let me, let me show you silver first, because silver took off like a rocket ship here, man. So what silver had done also last week, folks, is that, you know, it had a sign of strength. Let me show you this. So this, these signs of strength are really cool, man, Let's, particularly when you get something like this. And, but you can see the first sign of strength, strength, strength actually came in on the 12th of September. You had the wide price spread. You did 82,000 contracts. Then you back down and you back down with 83,000. <laughs> I know, pretty wild. Now you blew away everything today with 90,000. So your next swing up here, you, you're laying out, you went to 2070s. Uh, 
Yeah, 2077. The swing point now is 2102. Uh, so bottom line, if we look at this, watch this now. This is pretty cool because I believe if we do this, yeah, it's going to be cool. Okay, so this is a classic. If you want to see like a real classic on, you know, trend lines in general, what they like to do. So I'm taking this trend line now from $26.75. You can see what happened is it broke the trend on the day of strength, okay? Then it pulls back <laughs> with light of volume, gets the, and the bottom of the trend, and now it takes it out. So that's saying, guess what? Silver wants to run to this 26.75. So it's a, it's a big number, no doubt. Now, let's go back into the equities, okay? So Pan American Silver first. We take a look at Pan American Silver. Um, it's up 91 cents. Not bad, okay? Bottom line is that you have 3.3 .3 million shares traded you're going into 3.2 so this is a start this is definitely a start now pan american silver will get some flack at the 1763 because it came down so hard but you got to start in pan american silver no doubt that's then exk this is a highly volatile stock going up or going down uh you always know where you stand with it though and this is this is a great this is this is a buy i mean this is you know it's off it's off a low of 247 you're at 342 you have volume behind the move um, this is on its way up to that uh, 385 area, and it has it in spades, man. It just took out, so you can do it this way. Let me see. It just took out 331. Yeah, and it's going on the next swing. The next swing up there is that 385. The uh, Hecla, Hecla was looking good this morning also. Uh, take a look at Hecla. Hecla, one of the oldest silver stocks. Well, it is the oldest uh Silver stock on the New York Stock Exchange. So, Heckler, you know, it could use a little more volume, but I suspect this is going to go to the 446 right now. You're at 422. And then if we look now, this one's interesting, man. Okay, so this Meg Silver, okay, was one. I, I got I to gotta see if I can get the CEO on. I've been texting them a few times. Uh, I mean, emailing them. Oh, I direct message them on Bloomberg. Um, so, the low for this is $10, the high is 21 Let's just look at this for a second, because, yeah, they make money, man. They, they, okay, this year, they plan on taking a $231 million and making $0.43 cents a, a share. Next year, they put three eighty six. So the thing that's intriguing about this is that this was not only just one of the strongest silver stocks. I mean, it was amazing. And it's, it's not like that anymore. You know, so I'd be a little careful with this thing right now. You know, it doesn't mean, you can see it's going up to the swing. The swing is going up to this, this 1389. Um, it probably has to build cause more. I mean, it's, yeah, this is this one here, I can tell you, is a head scratch because I follow this all the time. I look at it every day. And, you know, we ha it, had, it had the sign of strength in July. Uh, September, not as much, man. Not when we, you know, it just didn't, so... This one here, that one here, I'd be a, a little more cautious on, that's for sure. So out of those, I believe the ones that we just did, I think Pan American Silver is probably the strongest. Well, yeah, that and EXK. Yeah, well, except, you know, it's EXK then, because Pan American Silver is going to catch flack on where that big down bar is. Yeah, this, this would be the one. You know, you're, you're up, but you're up, you're up almost 15% this morning, you know. So you got to remember something, though, that the aspect of uh, if you're getting into these mining stocks, folks, OK, um, you're talking about highly volatile. Just know what you're doing. Don't and do not uh, basically uh, get over leveraged. That's that's the that's the real kicker. Uh, let's go look at uh, what is this? I N D O. OK, so. Is that right. Indonesia Energy. Uh, exploration production engages in the oil and gas business. <laughs> okay, so they're taking 15 million. You sure they get the right one? Small cap, oh, well, small cap oil pass. Well, it's a really, I don't know if you realize how small cap it is, Dan. <laughs> um, they only take in 2.5 million and they have a 66 million market cap. Yeah. Sounds kind of weird to me, man. Yeah, I wouldn't be I wouldn't be touching that, man. That that does 
2.5 million. So that's like saying that, yeah, uh, I, I, I don't see that at all. Let's go take a look at some of the higher volume equities. What's going to happen out here, folks, this is going to be a low volume day going higher. You have uh, Apple's up 470. You got uh, Tesla's down 19. Uh, you got Amazon up three. We have uh, Intel up a buck 37. Uh, inside, let's go, uh, Micron Tech's up $2. If we go inside the Dow Industrials, we take a look at the strength. And yeah, they're all, they're all positive. So uh, let's, let's take a look at this. So strength-wise, you have uh, United Health putting 79 positive points, Home Depot 61, uh, Chevron 46, and Microsoft 55. Inside the NDX 100, the strength versus the weakness inside the NDX. Uh, Mercado Libre is up 7.5%, Lamb's up 7.5%, Regeneron's up 6.5%, AMAT's up 6 and 3 quarters. Tesla's down 7, JD's off 1.1, Illumina's off 1. So uh, let's go over to Tesla for a second. Good old Elon Musk just doesn't stop, man. I mean, this guy's just something else. So, so Tesla's fallen out of bed, and what happened there is that they, they came out with numbers, and the numbers weren't great about what they were doing. It's an ABC down. It broke. You can see it broke Thursday. It broke the B point with volume. So your A point is 313. You got uh, 3043 as the A to B. That gets you uh, 240. Oh, look at this. 246, man. That, it, so it hit the, the bottom. It, it hit the ABC structure today. Let's see. Put this back a little bit more. All right, we'll see what's going to go after this uh, swing low. The swing low we're talking about is uh, the 206. And, uh, you know, <laughs> good old Elon, uh, he's really getting into, uh, I mean, I know he's into the politics, but he's really into the politics now because he's tweeting out here. Let's see. So this just happened. Okay. Let's see. What time? What time is it? Can I get that time up quick? Well, anyway, it just happened. So first, he tweets out, Russia is doing partial mobilization. They go full war mobilization with Crimea is at risk. Death on both sides will be devastating. Russia is three times the population of Ukraine, so victory for Ukraine is unlikely in total war. If you care about people of Ukraine, seek peace. Then after that, he says, let's try this then. The will of the people who live in the Donbass and Crimea should decide whether they're part of Russia or Ukraine. We'll see where that goes, man. That's that's going to really flip some people out. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. We have the Dow. Dow Industrials right now up at 861. NASDAQ up 284. S&P's up 102. We'll come right back. Vista Gold owns and operates the largest undeveloped gold project in Australia, the Mount Todd Gold Project. Vista Gold just completed their feasibility study, resulting in a 7 million ounce gold reserve. Vista Gold has all major permits approved and has retained CIBC capital market assistance in evaluating alternatives and in completing an accretive transaction. Vista Gold trades on the NYSE American and TSX under the ticker symbol VGZ. Vista Gold, executing a strategy to create shareholder value. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. 
Directions Daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. So Dow. Dow's up at 828, Nasdaq's up 265, S&P's up 97. Let's go to Keith in Cedar Rapids. Hey, Keith, what's going on? Hey, Tommy, how you doing? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? Excellent, thank you. So I'm curious... Um, I'm looking at uh, SWKS. Okay. And, you know, that's been a long, slow drip down. Do you, uh, do you see any possibility of a reversal on this? Or, I mean, I've, I've already gotten out of it, but um, I've, I've, like, I've, you know, done pretty well with that thing over the years. I was sure. curious what you uh, what so, thought of it. Awesome. Let's take a look at it. So SWKS, folks, okay, the wireless semiconductor company, a uh, big supplier of Apple, uh, lows 85, the highs 174. Next time they come out with their numbers is on uh, November 4th. Okay, so let's take a look. So we'll put this first. Putting it on a monthly, all right? So you did a full retracement. Yeah, I wouldn't buy it yet. So this is another one that has come into the, you, you see what the highs of the COVID low was 106. And mm -hmm. you're already, you're into that deeply. And the low is 67. You know, we came down last week and we got to 85. And it's not an ABC down because it had, well, let's see, 45 million. Yeah, 41. I would wait till that, that, that low gets tested, man. I think that low is going to get tested. It's really hard when you get into a bar that far. Um, you know, and I and I know right. you know it's bouncing a little today, but I, I'd let it test that low, man, because I think that'll. Okay. This has been like this is pretty amazing, man. Let's, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just a one, one can, move can down. I ask you one more. Yes, absolutely. So, if I understand this right, there was an ABC down on the on the uh, on the Dow to about twenty six. I'm not sure if my calculations are right. Okay. Um, uh, 27, 26, something like that. Is that, is that? That would still be in play. The ABC down is still in play. So what happened here, folks, is this. We broke the B points on Friday. We broke them with volume. Uh, we could, it looks like we want to get a complex one. So what happens with a complex ABC is that it goes back up to the C point, could take it out, but as long as it's light volume, you know, it's still in play. Um, so, yeah, that's still in play big time, man. I mean, the volume today is anemic. Um, yeah. And yeah. what normally happens, if, if this is a counter trend bounce, which I think it is, but if it is, what will end up happening, we did 1.6 billion shares on Friday, blowing away these B points, okay? With, we're at 675. We'll probably do, you know, we'll do a 1.1 million. We should, 1.1 billion maybe. Um, you know, and then you'll get to actually know more. This was like tomorrow and the next day because what should happen then is that what we're – is that the volume will contract again and again on Tuesday and Wednesday. That's how that works. And if that's what you have, get, you know, you don't have to get out of the way. It's the ABC structure down. That's what's going on. Look out look yes. below if you get more volume. What, what would it Less take volume. Get less volume. Less, less volume, volume going up. Pardon, pardon, like we're going to have yeah, less volume less, today. Yeah. And then we yeah. go up tomorrow with less volume. And yeah, if that's that, the probability goes much higher that that's what 
this is all about. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. all right. What happens okay. on a low? Just uh, let's talk about that for a second, because I'm sure there's plenty of people. If this was going to be like a really good low, right? What we probably would have saw is that you would have had a monster volume day. Then you'd get below that, like just slightly, for it it'd drive everyone out of their minds. Okay, which we're not even close to that. You know, then mm -hmm. what would end up happening, then you get a sign of strength coming off that bottom. So it's just the opposite we have right now. So if it was a low that was coming in, this is according to time in the trade and white cough and all of this, right? Is that you come down, mm -hmm. you couldn't come down hard, there's a flush out. After the flush out, folks, you get a little bounce and you come right back down again. And then you test that with lighter volume after the monster deal, then you come off that. You might go sideways for a couple of days, then you get a sign of strength. And the sign of strength is wide price spread, accelerated volume. That's what puts a low in. Got it. Okay, man. Thank you, man. Have a great one. Have a safe one. Let's go to Brent in Martinez, California. Hey, Brent, what's going on, man? Oh, I'm doing great, Tom. How are you? I'm doing great. Thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. Appreciate it, man. Thank you. I had a question. You were going over some of the mining stocks. I'm in uh, AG. Yeah, this is the beauty. First majestic. I just want to get your thoughts. It looks like it's been in consolidation going back to May, and it's we're and then those swing areas are. It's kind of heading into that with some volume today. Just wanted to get your thoughts on it. It's a nice setup, and this is a highly volatile stock on the way up and on the way down, folks. And right now, it's very powerful. The low for the year is six dollars and thirty-one cents. The high is fourteen sixty-seven. They come out with their numbers October thirty-first. You're trading eight thirty-five in. What is happening, which is really cool, you're pushing into the swing and you got a huge volume. The, you know, the, the swing has volume. The swing is at uh, $8.69 and it has volume of $8.1 million, but you're doing 11.4 today, man. Yeah, this is a nice setup. Now, what's really cool about this one, folks, is this. Look at the size of the base. The base is a five-month base. So you get a five-month base, you know, bottom line, you take that out and the next... You know, a month from now, it can be a 1387, uh, man. Yeah, there's, a, there's action here, man. Yeah, this has been a little bit trying on, on your patience, but I think hopefully we're going to get something here. We'll see. There's, there's no doubt. That's a great quote because there's, there's no doubt about that. Um, but you can see, so what's going to get intriguing here is this. This is what normally happens, okay? So picture we get the bounce. So, if, you know, I'm talking about the broad market now. So as the broad market goes up higher, folks, what happens is that the um, gold and silver equities go up higher. And that's why people say, why are the small caps going up higher? And it's because of what's going on in that whole space. Because a lot of the mining, a lot of the commodity stocks are small caps. So they're accelerating up. So if we do have a start of a real run, okay, what would happen is that each and every time that we get a little bounce in the market, the metals will move much higher than the market. Like today, they're doing that, okay? The market's up 3%, the metals are up like 10 to 12%, right? That's kind of how it lays out, which is really cool, you know what I mean? Cooking, brother. Thank you so much, Tom. I'm just glad you made it through that hurricane, you know, yeah. unscathed. And I was very impressed you got yourself back up to speed on Thursday. I wasn't expecting that. So Well, we have, we have a great that. crew here, man. And I appreciate all you tigers and tigresses growling and prowling with us out here, man. And you guys, you guys got to stay out of the fires. We got to stay out of the hurricanes. You guys got to stay out of the fires. What a trip this is, right? Yeah, it's been a little better this year. Thank Good. you so much, Tom. Okay. You take care, and, and thanks again. Thanks, Brent. Appreciate it, man. Let's go take a look at XOP for our man Z. Oh, see, okay, so XOP, uh, this is the uh, oil and gas expiration ETF. It's, get, it's getting a bump today. There's no doubt about that. And this is, what this is all about, folks, yeah, I wouldn't be trading this higher. I mean, it's up eight bucks right now, but to me, this is a counter trend bounce. You know, that, that, this XLP is 108 all over it. This is a counter trend bounce. What you're going to have Saudi Arabia do is they're going to cut back on oil production and that's why i see that little blurb and that little blurb by the way today right is nothing folks oil's going lower man you look at, look at this little blurb up here yeah let me put this up you got so you got brent up uh 377 you only get you get 267,000 contracts man hey let me show this show this yeah you know, you're going into like 
380. Yeah, that's a common trend balance. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industry is up 765. NASDAQ is up at 241. S&Ps are up at 88. Let's go over the S&Ps. So we're going to get some selling coming into the close here. And I want to show you, this is what's going to be crucial looking at this to see whether this is going to be a one-day wonder. And what it is is this, is that the high of Friday in the S&P, okay, was 36.93. Now, we're right at it right now. Uh, if it closes above it, yeah, this will want to go higher tomorrow, too. But you close underneath that, and to me, it looks like this thing could try to get down to 3680. And what 3680 is, folks, that's when that was the second leg up today. Okay, we did the first the first leg bell bottom line started right off the bat this morning. Okay, um, you know we go we go we go higher. The next leg started after the pullback at uh, 940. And the top of that pullback there is that number of that 3680. We go to 3680 and it's a whole different ball game, man. The reason why is if we go over to the NQs and we take a look at the NQs, now the NQs, no doubt, are the, are the weakest of this bounce. And the NQs, I believe they just made, let me see if it made it. So that was 367. No, see, this is interesting. The NQs never made the high of Friday. It's 367. We made 358. So coming into the close here, these NQs, if these NQs basically get down to uh, 
230 and they're at 284 right now. That's that means that, that we didn't do anything. <laughs> That's pretty intense, man. So we'll see where this baby shakes out. But, you know, and you can expect, so the, the run here, with that, when we're backing down here, folks, that would, to me, that'd be profit taken. I mean, you know, if you ran this trend all the way up, it's like, okay, man, you know, you get some bread here. Um, the S&P, though, is that's problematic if we, if we get underneath this thing. Is, that's how it shakes out. We take a look at the higher volume. Uh, no, we take a look at the indice volume. Let's take a look at this. Man, that was a quick hour. So on the NYSE right now, it's 733. On the composite, we're at... 3.4. Yeah, so it's, it's going to have much lighter volume. Always remember, folks, the bank can claw your heart out. The bull can run you over. And thank God, there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great night, safe night. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off 9 in the morning. Great show, folks. Go get him.